Hey guys, today I just had a quick video I wanted to drop just to help somebody out who is having issues with the search icon being missing and the fonts not looking correct. Uh, it's a problem if you download, instead of getting the update from the older version, the 1.1.19 folder when it uh, installs actually makes a folder called Akabato-2 instead of Akabato. And I just wanted to quickly show how you could um, update this real quick to get everything back to normal and hopefully it's all taken care of in the next update. Hopefully this all helps. And today uh, somebody had a question around their Akabata theme where they were missing the search icon but you can see it's obviously still there and additionally the menu fonts will be messed up and the text itself. So what has happened is when you look that it's missing and you in take a look to inspect, it's trying to find the location in Akabato as the folder name. And what's happened in uh, most of the people who download the 1.1.19 uh, version from the site, what you end up with is a, a folder that it makes called Akabato-2 and it's not been fixed yet. So let me go add some stuff real quick to the menu just so that you can see what I'm talking about. I gotta go make a menu. So we're just gonna make a primary menu. We'll just go add all these pages. Save the menu. We've actually gotta place it in place as the primary menu at the top. Now it'll show up. And then <clears throat> you'll see how the fonts look. And then let's go ahead and then So when you look at these, you'll see they're all loading. It all looks like it's in place, but these ones, so if you inspect, you'll actually see errors, and you'll see it's 404ing, so basically it can't find the resource for the search icon for Franklin as a regular font and for Rubota Condensed regular. That's because these are all um, directly referenced as to their location, and since the location isn't there, it can't load those. So instead what you get is a search bar that exists, but nobody will know is there until they fix that in the next update. So what you can do instead is you can go into here. Uh, I would suggest the easiest way, if you have FTP, you could just um, go into your hosting account and go to the file manager and inside file manager make the change. Um, or if you're more capable inside WordPress, you can do file manager advanced. It's a program uh, plugin by modal web. And basically, when you install it, it just gives you access to the file system that drives your website. So inside here, you can go in here and you can see inside themes, it's just called Akabato-2. That's why it can't load, because those references are all for Akabato by itself. So if you're inside File Manager or inside uh, the plugin for File Manager here, either way, you should be able to just go to Rename. And then for those people who are currently on Akabato, the easiest way is just for a minute, you're going to want to switch off because otherwise you'll error out your website because it's actively trying to talk to the Akabato theme. So if you change it in the middle, it's going to lose track of where it's at and it's going to error and you're going to get that email saying your website's catastrophically failed. So switch yourself over to 2020. Your users may see it for a hot second, but you're trying to fix a problem. So go into file manager then and you can just go in and you can actually rename these back to Akabato itself. And then this is obviously gonna load like this, right? But now you can go back into your appearance and go to themes, go ahead and activate Akabato again. You can dismiss any notices that come from there. And then once you've done that, well, what you wanna do is come back over here. When you refresh, hey, my search icon is back. And these fonts, you'll see they're much more thick now instead of being the previous fonts. And you have your search icon back. So that actually resolves the problem. And this means you're totally taken care of and back and ready to, at this point, 
start working on your website again, but your users are going to be able to see everything and your fonts are going to look correct. Um, somebody asked about this and just wanted a video, so I wanted to make sure I could show them how straightforward it is to make the change. If you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, I try to respond to everything that I see there. Um, otherwise, come on over to the website. It's purpleagreeincome.com. I've got a lot of stuff on Akabato and just overall general blogging just to try and help anybody learn anything more than they're interested in. Um, thank you. Uh, like and subscribe if this helps you. It does help me, and it gets me a little bit better chance of having Google like me at all. Uh, YouTube always just hates me. <laughs> but it's not for YouTube. It's for you guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Thanks guys for being here while I record this video. I hope that you learned something useful today. And if you did, I would also love for you to come by ProBloggerIncome.com and just check out what I have. I have covered quite a bit of um, topics. It's all around affiliate income, finding keywords, making money, and then WordPress itself. And within WordPress, I've got a bunch of stuff that covers Akabato. I've got some stuff that's covering Carbonite, and I'm working on adding more content daily. Um, the other part that people find really interesting is the niche setups that I've done and just the kind of um, information to kind of teach you what's there. And then each one's more specifically about making a decision on niche selection instead of just getting the same old, same old that everybody gets. I try and cover a bunch of different directions so that way you have some ideas that maybe will take you outside of the normal um, and get you exploring what's interesting. Um, if you liked everything, please feel free, comment below, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't been here before, and uh, as always, uh, if you're interested, uh, please come over to the website and find what you like. Leave me a comment if you'd like me to cover something specifically as a niche, and talk to you soon. Bye. Oh yeah, I forgot. Please hit like and subscribe and I'll make more stuff.